All right then, so now we know a little bit about what Gatsby is, let's try making a new project. So the easiest way to get started with a new Gatsby project is to use what's known as a starter site. Now these are ready-made boilerplated Gatsby projects that come fully baked with all the setup and configuration that we need to develop a Gatsby project. And they range from bare bones starter projects, which contain only the essential configuration that we need to make a site, right through to fully fledged blog sites and other more complex builds. So you can view all the different starter sites on the Gatsby website. Go to gatsbyjs.com forward slash starters like so, and you can see them all here. So you can see right here, we have a starter blog. We have a starter default, starter portfolio, etc. And you can click on these to learn more about them and see how to install them. Now, the one we're going to start with is a bare bones starter site and it's called Hello World. So I'm going to search for that and it's this one over here. So this is a snapshot of what it looks like in a browser. And as you can see, it's very, very bare bones. It just contains this text. So it's going to come with all the configuration we need, all the setup, but only the minimal setup. It's a bit like when we create a React app using Create React App. It's that kind of setup, probably less. So if we scroll down here, it's going to show you how to install this starter. But there's one thing we need to do first, and that is to install the Gatsby CLI. And only then can we use a command like this because we start it using the Gatsby CLI. So let's install that first of all. So to do this, you want to open up a terminal. This can be command prompt or whatever terminal you want. And we want to use NPM to install a package. Now, this is why you need node install because you can only use NPM if you have node installed. Then we want to say we want to install, then hyphen G, meaning install this globally on our computer so we can use it anywhere. And we want to install Gatsby hyphen CLI. So press enter and that's going to install that tool for us. And then once that's done, we can go back to the starter site details page so we can copy this command right here. Now notice this says Gatsby new, which is how we start a new Gatsby project. Then it says my Gatsby project. Now this is what we want to call our project. So we're gonna call it something different. And then this is a GitHub repo and a starter project reference that we're gonna install. So let us now go over to the terminal and paste this in. And I just want to change where it says my Gatsby project to something that our project is gonna be called. So let me delete that and I'll change it to web warrior. All right then, so if I press enter now, it's gonna create a new project called web warrior in this directory for us and it's gonna base it on this starter site. All right, and now that's done, I'm gonna CD into that new directory, web warrior like so. And then I wanna open this up in Visual Studio Code. So to do that, I can type code, space, and then full stop, press enter, and it's gonna open up this project in VS Code right here. Okay, so now we can see all of these different folders and files on the left. This, my friends, is our starter project. So the first thing I wanna do is give you a little tour of all these different folders and files because I said that this was a bare bones project, but by the look of things, we've got a lot of different files and folders here. So let's take it one step at a time. First of all, node modules over here. This is where all of the different packages are installed. So React itself and Gatsby, they go in there and any dependencies that they have as well. Any other packages that we install in the future as well for the project are going to live inside here, but you never have to go in there and edit anything. That's just where they live. Then we have this source folder right here. Now this is where like 95% of your code is going to go. So most of the work you do will be inside this source folder. And inside the source folder at the minute, we just have a pages folder as well. And inside that we have an index.js. And this is where we have the hello world that is seen in the browser. We'll see that in our browser in a minute, but this is the entirety of the content at the minute. So this is basically the home page. So down here, we also have a static folder. This is where we can place any static files that will be made public to the browser. We also have these files down here. So git ignore, this is a version control. We have some prettier config files, which you'll need pretty installed for them to have an effect. So go to your extensions and search for prettier. 
if you want to install that. So this thing right here. All right, so let's go back to the files. Down here we have Gatsby config. This is where we have some different configuration options for our site, as well as where we register plugins, which we're gonna learn about later on. We have some package files down here as well. So the package.json file lists all of our different dependencies, which we can see down here. And also we have some scripts which we're going to use along the way as well. The ones we'll mainly be using are this towards the end when we build our project, maybe serve as well, and we will use develop. This is what we're going to use to actually preview the website in a browser. And then we also have a license file and a readme file as well. So it's pretty simple. Most of the things you're not going to need to touch. And like I said, most of the work will be inside the source folder and inside this Gatsby config file as well. All right then, so how do we then preview this in a browser? Well, all we need to do is run this command right here, Gatsby develop. And what this does is spin up a local development server so that we can preview it in a browser. So let me open up a terminal. You can do that by going to terminal and new terminal. And I'm gonna say Gatsby develop like so. So press enter and this is gonna spin up that local development server. So it says right here, something else is already running at port 8000 for me. So I'll say, yep, run this on a different port for you. As long as you've got nothing else running, it will just spin up a local development server using port 8000. Now we can see if we scroll up, we get this link. This is for graphical. We'll talk about that later on, but we also get this one right here. Now yours will probably say 8000 instead of 8001, but I'm going to control and click on that to open this up in a browser. And we can see this is our website right here. Hello world. So there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is if we head back to the code, you'll also see this public folder now. Now this folder was generated by Gatsby when we ran Gatsby develop. And inside here is all of the stuff that is being served to the browser when we preview it, including this HTML file right here. This is the HTML file we're currently seeing in the browser for this homepage index.js file right here. So. This stuff right here is being served in the browser and later on when you come to deploy your application, this will be the folder that you deploy as well after we've run the build command because all of the built files will then go into this public folder. So that's your introduction to the starter site. Next up, we're gonna start talking about pages and routes so that we can add more content.